Hey everybody, today we have a full body 35 minute EMOM workout. All you need is a set of dumbbells. I have 10 pounders, it's what we have, we're gonna make it work. So what this means is EMOM stands for every minute on the minute. So when the clock strikes, you're gonna do however many reps the exercise tells you to, which we'll walk through. Um, and then if that takes you 30 seconds, then you rest for the remainder of that minute. If it takes you 50 seconds, then you rest for 10 seconds. The thing to keep in mind is if you're really losing your form or having zero rest whatsoever, please back down the number of reps um, to get just a little bit of rest in there so you're staying safe, but it should be hard. We want you to push yourselves. Um, so let's walk through the exercises. All right, exercise number one is a thruster. That means a squat to press. So you're gonna have whatever stance you prefer. Dumbbells are up at your shoulders. Actually have them face forward. Actually, either way, whatever you prefer. You're gonna squat down and then press up. Squat down, press up. We're gonna do 15 thrusters, okay? Exercise number two is a narrow stance RDL to a bent over row. So, you're gonna have your feet touching together, hinge at your hips, slight bend in your knee. You're gonna bring the dumbbells down to about mid shin, row them up, set them back down, and stand. So this is good for your back muscles, also your glutes and hamstrings. And we're gonna do 15 of these. Exercise number three is alternating jump lunges. So you're gonna grab your dumbbells. I like to hold them touching in towards each other. And you're just gonna lunge to this side and that side, and this side and that side. So 20 total. And from the side, it looks like this. Exercise number four is a simple lateral raise. So you're gonna, you can do these kneeling or standing. Slight bend in your elbow and just bring the dumbbells out to the side. Good for your delts. Exercise number five is a hip thrust. So grab your two dumbbells, sit your butt on the floor, stack them on top of your hips, and then bring your heels down, engage your glutes, push through your heels, to lift your hips up. We're gonna do 20 of these. Exercise number six is a high knee variation. So you're gonna do 20 high knees while holding the dumbbell out in front of you. So like this. And then after that 20 is over, you're gonna do 20 where you let the dumbbell um, just kind of sway from side to side. So from the front, 20 that way as well. Finally, exercise number seven is a V-up with a bicep curl. So you're gonna come onto your butt again. You're gonna have your arms, your palms facing up, dumbbells by the side. You're gonna V-up, so do an ab crunch, and then do a bicep curl. Let it back down, legs relax. So V-up to a bicep curl, 15 reps. All right, y'all, I'm gonna do the workout with you. I'll just find like a free um, YouTube playlist. Can't promise what it'll hold. If you prefer your own music, please find that now and we'll get started. All right, thrusters, 15.
You know what I might do on that one? I might change mine to like a rear delt fly instead of a bent over row, just because the weight's kind of light. All right, we have alternating jump lunges, 20. Woo, let's see, that's good. So 
with those and the lateral raises, see how you feel. Like I think maybe I'll do 20 lateral raises and 15 of those. 15 thrusters, second round.
Remember on the cross ones, you're crossing over towards the leg that is lifting up. So that 20 out in front first. And then switch. Yes, whenever you're done. It's a nice minute to just take some stretches and catch your breath. Got 10 seconds, get your dumbbells either side of you. Lay on down. We're going to do 15 of these. Try to keep your legs hovering off the ground the whole time. And if you want, you can keep your arms, your hands hovering off so you can never actually rest the dumbbell down. It's up to you. Five. Now you can do it one at a time, where you crunch up and then curl, or you can do them at the same time. Okay. Seconds. 
Moving into our lateral raises. 20 of them. And go. Fifteen. Or switch 
back and forth between two. Hinge at your hips. Stick your booty back. Oh, 
Hold it off the ground if you can. Increase that time under tension.
Two marks from side hips. Okay. Stand up. Coming into high knees. Ten seconds. Twenty to thirty each situation, or without a dumbbell. Out in front and go. seconds to finish up. Yay! All right. I'm sweaty. So that was pretty good. It wasn't like the hardest thing we have ever done probably, but a good way to get the whole body going, get a nice sweat. Good way to isolate into the biceps and delts because I haven't done that in a while. And yeah, just felt good.